Hey, now up here. Welcome back to another part of my free to play new to pro series where I take a brand new account from the ground up. As always, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, like the video. It helps me out a lot. And if you want to support me further, check out my memberships. The join button down below. Welcome back. Another new to pro series. It has been some time before the last episode for sure. I believe this is the longest uh gap between episodes that i've had a lot has changed a lot has happened uh but yeah welcome back if you're new here uh this is a series where uh, we we brought this up brand new it's, it was a baby and look at us now we have some awakened heroes hero lock everything so i highly suggest you checking out episode one uh if you want to check this out and uh just follow the series if you're new but in this episode we are gonna be starting the great rift arc yeah are you guys excited about this? Uh, so I debated for a long time whether to just kind of do like specific guide videos for kind of like each altar, but I figured, you know, it's a good start to just kind of like do it with my new to pro series, right? So in this video, we're going to be doing it together. We're going to be doing it together. But first, uh, let's let's give you an update on the account. Let's look at the account. Okay, uh, I, I honestly haven't played on it a lot at all like at all i haven't done great riff nothing uh i did do some stuff regarding invasion and for example uh i usually hold resources and then just kind of wait until i do the video and then kind of like open up all the scrolls and stuff but uh, i did end up just like rolling gold and stuff because i was kind of tired of like not getting armas tokens so um yeah so i actually ended up doing uh all the normal chapters phase 10 okay i did i did that okay um i honestly don't remember what was different from the last episode since it's been so long but um yeah so i did some corruption so all i need to do is chapter 9 and chapter 10 phase 10 and we'll be done with invasion but of course we still have that like 300 win achievement that we have to do <laughs> but we'll have to do it and also remember we have a list of things that we're trying to mark off uh so to make this account pro right a quote unquote pro so i can just retire the series completely uh but with the new introduction of great rift uh we're gonna have to add a new achievement to go pro we We'll have to do Great Rift and clear it all with the altars. And uh, we're going to have to add that to the list. Let's add that to the list. So we're going to have to clear it all. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do it in this series. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Um, what else? Let's look at our heroes. Okay, so uh, I know some stuff has changed since last time. So I did get Armas tokens, okay? And he is level 18 now. Look at this. He is 18, almost level 20. So we can check that off our list. Um, he He's almost level 19, to be honest. I have 63 tokens, right? I need like, what, 50 more-ish? Uh, yeah. So very close, very close. He's level 18, almost level 20. I thought it was going to take a lot longer, but uh, it's pretty close, pretty close. So I have some Lunar tokens now so I can level her up if I want to, uh, maybe. Um, and yeah, that nothing, nothing really new. I just have more tokens for different characters now, you know, and I've been just honestly i haven't even been doing dailies like i haven't even really been logging on uh because it's just great rift came out i played a bunch of it so yeah uh, luckily on this account i have 245 food so i have more than enough so we can like you know spam some great rift it's gonna be fun um yeah that's it a uh, new event obviously right i've done the event make sure you do the event uh i haven't been doing my flags obviously i have 30 flags <laughs> you guys should be doing it okay don't follow in my footsteps uh and also new season 25 rin 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 is the new king guy castle uh past skin look at this skin it is beautiful it is beautiful i can't get it on this account obviously because it's free to play but look at that ah oh look at it. you should get this skin this is sick this is sick i love it all right let's start this is going to be the beginning of the great rift arc of my new to pro series uh we're going to be going through great rift clearing it with all the altars and it's going to start right here the great rift arc is going to be fun it's going to be fun uh so let's do it if you're new to this mode you can just watch this and follow along i'll be explaining kind of like how it works generally uh a, lo a lot of you guys have been playing it and spamming it but i'll still kind of go through it but uh, this is a pure roguelike mode okay so uh all the the level system 
like there's new like consumables everything right um and it doesn't matter what you own so this is completely it'll grab from the pool of heroes and uh, relics even if you don't own them the only limitation is the starting hero so your starting hero you can only choose from your uh existing pool right so if you only own like for example um the starter you know seven heroes or whatever you can only choose from them to start with right but after you actually enter the mode you have access to all the heroes all the relics you don't have to own them so uh yeah and it doesn't matter what level they are everyone starts at the same level same baseline you know it's even playing ground once you enter the mode right uh so yeah uh we're gonna be doing okay let's see uh so i'm gonna show you guys my favorite build that i've been doing uh i believe is the easiest build is the easiest i think it's op uh it might get adjusted but I'm gonna show it. Let's let's do it. We're gonna do mate. We're gonna go for mage altar clear. Okay, and we are gonna be using Shelda. Yeah, this is my favorite build so far. It's the easiest. Uh, there is some RNG. Okay, it is some RNG. So let let's start it. The beginning of the Great Rift arc of New to Pro series. Let's go, Shelda. We're gonna go mage altar. This is the OP stuff. This is the OP stuff. Okay, so we're gonna view map. Okay, so if you guys don't know, right, this is the map, right, and you, and you have the toggle buttons, so you kind of move around and you move the rooms, you clear them, you can like get some health, get some gold, and then it's pure roguelike. If you played anything similar, like I don't know, uh, <laughs> some games that you kind of like do this kind of thing where you just grid map base and you like go through rooms and floors, uh, it's very similar. So we're gonna get some heroes, okay? So for heroes for this build, um, you kind of want to get like a front line. If you see Mersel, you get him. <laughs> if you see Bard, you get him. You see Alberon, you get him, okay? Uh, Gidnil, you get him. Uh, in this case, none of those are in the list. I'm actually gonna get Herang, uh for the CC for later, okay? So the first thing, what I usually do is uh so the the first uh floor is super easy right um the only thing that you shouldn't do is go straight to the boss floors <laughs> uh you will get wrecked you will get wrecked uh okay here so we can we have some battle rewards sometimes you can choose some stuff right so there are new things called runes that give you completely new effects that aren't in the existing game these are crazy crazy like just crazy effects and there are altar specifics right so and this is an actual relic and there's a new altar system uh going on that's tied to it we are actually not gonna get this we're actually not gonna get this uh we want stuff with mage stuff on it okay so we're gonna skip that grab this this is really good too we can grab that uh okay so as i was saying uh avoid avoid the boss floors right and try to avoid the the rift floors here okay uh i usually do all the regular floors and then you always want to get your your uh your two free hero summons right some two free heroes i'm actually gonna get uh behemoth is kind of good bro behemoth is kind of good we're going for mage altar it, it good for mob floors okay so i usually go for the normal rooms first okay the normal rooms the ones with the two swords and then by doing this uh you get some xp right and i usually grab the silver don't don't grab this you want you want the silver if you always grab health recovery you won't ever get silver okay so you you want you want to pick the silver uh unless you really need it uh i'm actually gonna grab this okay i'll explain it later but i'm actually gonna grab this horn of the guard is i think one of the best relics in this mode i think it, it is it is it is amazing xp gain great i'm gonna take it. even though we're going for altar mage i know if you're new to this you don't really understand what's going on but know that we're gonna go for altar of mage and of course this is the new ui right so whatever altar that you have the highest uh, points in, that's your main altar, right? And at the end, we want to complete it with uh, a mage run, right? So uh, we want the most mage points. Uh, mask is actually, I, I think it's awful in, in Rift right now. So I would always avoid mask. Uh, it doesn't uh, copy the runes. 
it doesn't copy the rules we're actually going to get this um this is the only way you can actually upgrade your uh, relic tiers right so if you look down here our relic is tier one so to upgrade it this thing it'll upgrade it once right so we're gonna do that okay and then we're just gonna go ahead and do the rift so these are very similar to like you know very similar to other games right so there's a reward if you want to accept it you accept it with a condition right and then you can get some uh, rewards or you can decline it but if you decline it you just don't uh in this case you don't get the increase hp spell power hp drain by 50 percent, right it, but you still have to complete the room if you decline it right so yeah i usually accept it usually uh, you can you can you know you don't have to worry about it at the beginning of floors right these are generally pretty easy Okay, now we want to eventually get some mage points, <laughs> some mage points. So this thing, this thing allows you to reroll the right uh, altar stat on a particular relic. So the left altar stat, the, the number, right, it's fixed. The right one is the one that you can actually reroll. Just to let you know, if you don't know what that is, uh, we might be going for... I'm actually just going to grab the, the force though for later because uh, we're going to need to do some re-rolling. We're going to need to do some re-rolling for sure. Alright, so we're going to do this normal run and then, uh, or no, normal room, and then we're going to go do that. We're going to go uh, up and do that, that leap boss. So we can grab the silver. So we're going to go up here. This is, a, this is a boss room, a mini boss room. Should be able to clear it. Easily. easy okay uh i'm gonna grab the silver uh okay so if you notice if i grab this then the left stat is blacksmith right one is uh blood which we can reroll. the left stat is fixed um i don't want this so yeah we're gonna skip it i don't want the armor i'll grab this uh this is a specific hero altar room okay just just know that it's a specific hero altar because we have your hero altar right now right uh, it's giving us hero altar base runes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So now we're gonna do the boss. Okay, and it is. Th these are completely new bosses for this mode. If you haven't seen it, it's awesome. It's awesome. So this guy, all he does is uh, he just smacks you, and uh, when he uh, he does it, and when he's dead, quote unquote, he kind of goes into this undying mode for a few seconds few seconds yeah, yeah, yeah and then he just died um so the first four i believe four four or five bosses they are completely random a, a, a random random mice are they're not in a particular order okay blade crown we're gonna grab this we're gonna grab this this is this is op this is op okay all right, so Blade Crown, OP, CC immunity. We do need this. Well, actually, technically, we don't really need it, but it, it helps. It helps, okay? And also, it helps that the, the fixed stat, the left one, is Mage, which we're going for. But the right stat is Blacksmith, right? So we want to re-roll this into something like a Mage, particularly. So if we can use this, right? Uh, do I do it now? Do I? Do I do now? You know what? Might as well. So, so all you do, you drag this over here, Reroll. So I rerolled into blood. We don't really want blood. Not really. We want mage. Okay, giant, no. Okay, mage. Great. Awesome. So these numbers will actually increase. So it'll probably go to like five. I don't know. Five, eight? We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so second floor. Uh, we're going to go for the, uh, the hero. The hero. Yeah. So with this particular comp, it's really important for you to get the mage all uh the mage rune magic arrow with shilda so shilda's our main carry and we want magic arrow magic arrow is op op all right gidnil we're gonna grab uh rye is really good too but gidnil though gidnil gidnil is broken yeah so we're just gonna go through the floors yeah nice okay silver
Now, if we get, oh, if you notice uh, these four slots, you can only get a maximum of four relics. Four relics, so, yeah. If we see, I usually grab a Holy Cross, usually, with this build, usually. I don't think it's completely necessary, but it helps. Log will be kind of good, too. Uh, we'll avoid this one. I'm actually going to grab... Uh... Oh, man. Do I grab the longbow? I'll grab the item. We're lacking items. I'm grabbing it. We're going we're gonna to do the rift room. Accept that. Okay. I would like a Mersel. Mersel will be good. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna grab the relic upgrade twice. So yeah, it's it's random. Nice. So we're gonna we're gonna make our way up to the uh, the shop so we can kind of spin our some some money, and then we're gonna go for the the mini boss, and then we're gonna go for the main boss. Okay, silver. Uh, I'll grab this. This is a this is this is like glove from Team Fight Tactics. Uh, if you if you know what I'm talking about, uh, so we're gonna give this to like I don't know. We're gonna we'll give it to ah man. We'll give it to Behemoth for now. Behemoth, hey dog. Behemoth, uh, Behemoth. We'll grab. We can always gr uh, take this off with an, a certain item. Okay, so don't worry about it. So this is the shop. Uh, so this guy. So you have to look at it. This guy's the rune guy. He sells runes. Aslan sells actual heroes, and then Alice is always here. It's like these basic uh, consumables. You buy this one for uh, removing equipment from heroes. You buy this to remove uh, runes, right? And this is AOE heal. This is a single target heal. You can also sell items if you didn't already know. Um. I'm kind of wanting the rune shop. Okay, so I'm gonna, you can refresh this. I usually refresh it. We, we have, so as long as you have some altars, <laughs> you know, points into whatever, you can actually get it. So that's why I'm getting the mana circle. Uh, I'm getting the mana circulation within my, you know, rune availability pool, right? So I'm gonna refresh it. Hope for, okay, that spells are, I don't want that. <sighs> I want, Magic arrow, magic arrow is what I want. Okay, I didn't, I didn't get Mercer. So, oh, this is, oh, this sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Okay, if I don't get magic arrow, boys, it might be, it might be a restart, boys. It might be a restart. Magic arrow is very important. We need magic arrow. Uh, I don't want banner. I'll grab one of these, I guess. And also, you can just, you can just, you know, just like items, you can do it with runes. So now it's a tier four rune, and tier four is the highest that it can be. So yeah. All right, let's go to the second boss. So the first three bosses are generally pretty easy. So uh, I'll go for military flag. Okay. And if you didn't know, it costs food to go through each floor. All right. So we're going to go over here. Hopefully we can get magic arrow. I do wanna. I do want to uh, have mage as my main altar. Okay, so uh, here is like kind of like an event thing. So I can we can pick from one unit being getting a bunch of XP, uh, or a distribution of XP, or enhancing a rune or equipment. I'm not really. I don't really have any great ones, so I'm gonna do this one, and select Shilda. So Shilda is a higher level now, and it's a new level distribution. Uh, the max. I guess in this case tier is a uh, 32 32 level 32 so yeah man we need magic arrow we need magic arrow uh, it's not the end of the world it is not the end of the world but it is gonna suck the longer we go without magic arrow 
All right, so here is the first uh, altar relic. So you can actually grab one of these altar relics and it will give you 10 of whatever you spec it, right? So um, the limit, uh, if you go down here, the limit is 15. So if you have excess, it will, it will stop at 15. So this one increases that cap by 10, right? So, and it will give you special effects at uh, altar level 20. Uh, we're going after mage. Mage isn't here, so we will skip this completely, and it will guarantee you. Uh, so the next room will have mage. Okay, um, you can actually completely opt out of the altar relic and just grab four regular relics. That's also an option. I've never done it, but yeah, <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. It, it, you can do it. You can do. It. I've never done it, but you can do it. Okay, so we're gonna go make our way to the shop. Hopefully the shop has, you know, um, a rune vendor. Oh man, uh, we'll grab this. Th this uh, upgrades a equipment tier. So this is a tier one hammer. So you can grab this uh, and go over a tier one item and it'll upgrade it. Yep, so this one is a rune one. So the blue ones are runes. Uh, the red looking ones are for items. Yep. So it's a weapon vendor. Rune vendor. Nice. Okay. So we can try our chances on this road. Ah, please. Please. Magic girl. No. Magic girl. Spell sir. Magic girl. I just spent so much money. I spent so much money. Oh my. I spent so much money. I'm going to give this. I think. I think. Are we, are, we, are we gonna die? I need magic arrow. I need magic arrow, please. Forge stone? Okay, nice. Okay, uh, okay. Let's forge this to a mage. Okay, boom. Sweet. 15 mage. We're in there. Okay, maybe... It's more likely that we get magic arrow. Maybe. So this guy, um, he's kind of like, you know, so he has this like Thormel thing, right? And then like when he does a skill, he'll channel. But if you do enough damage to him, it'll cancel the cast. So yeah, he hurts though. He hurts for sure. Uh, penetrating spear. I don't really want that. I'll just grab the rune, I guess. Magic arrow. Yes. I got it. Okay, it there there is some life in this run, boys. There is some life. All right, so I'm gonna equip this. Uh, what this does is that whenever your unit does a skill, it'll shoot an arrow equal to you know a certain amount of spell power to another enemy, right? And yeah, it it is it is broken on Shilda. I'm telling you, it is broken. I'm actually do I yeah I'll just equip this. Why not? I'll equip it. It, it is broken on Shilda because once she's awakened, you get this, uh, you use Absolute Wheel. She she generates Mighty Blocks while also like spitting out arrows. It's freaking amazing. It is amazing. All right, so we're gonna go, uh, here's, here's a pool guy, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna go down and grab this thing, which it will give us our Altar of Mage, right? And we can get uh, some mage altar going um i'm just gonna do something like this okay rift room sure look at this look at it i mean it's not op yet but you can see it's the white damage you can see how op it is uh kanak i don't want that so chill you can see how op the magic arrow is look at it look at it Okay. Man, it's so OP. It is OP. Uh, I'm actually gonna grab this one. So when you grab, I'm not gonna use it, but there are things in uh, Rift mode that lets you convert runes. So for example, this thing, uh, I took it because even though I'm not gonna, well, I'm gonna use it, but uh, even though I might not use it, uh, I can convert it to another tier four rune. Uh, later. Uh, possibility. Possibility. Uh, I'm actually just going to give this to Gidnu. And I'm just going to keep that on bench. You know, why not? 
Okay, so we're gonna grab we're gonna grab the uh, Holy Grail, right? It, this will give us a uh, ten Mage Altar. So you can see it occupies a space. Now we have twenty five Mage, and uh, each uh, you know this is they retooled all the altars to act kind of differently. So for Mage, uh, now every altar uh, has a level twenty like bonus effect. So for Mage, amplify skill damage by 0.5% for every 1% of MP exceeded. So basically, skill damage increase for, uh, you know, excess mana. It, it it's, it's it's just, it's awesome. It's awesome. Magic Arrow 2, it's freaking broken, bro. Look at it. Magic Arrow. Okay, so we're pretty much, we're pretty much set. We're pretty much set. Here's another rune altar okay so that's a rune vendor rune vendor magic arrow boys we got i'm buying it 500 i don't care um yeah okay so we can we can like put it on her and combine it but i kind of want to wait do i wait should i wait ah man i don't know i'll buy the books i'll buy the books so uh, you can buy books for XP. So if you go over a hero, you, they ha actually have like an XP bar, right? So like so you can see 71, 62, and you can just drag books and it'll level them up. Yep. So now uh, level 21 is, or tier 21, I guess I should say, uh, that is when you unlock the awakening abilities for your heroes. Uh, in this case, get absolute will for sure. We're doing a magic arrow build. It's OP. OP. Um, do I wait? I'm going to wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. The reason why I wanna wait is just in case I get uh, the Forge Rune thing, you know? The Rune Forge, the hammer, the tier three hammer, because I can just tier three hammer the magic arrow, right? And then I put it on shield, and then I'll have a tier four magic arrow and a tier three magic arrow. It is amazing. You wanna stack them, you wanna stack them for sure. Um, in an ideal situation, you get three magic arrows, but that's usually unlikely. So, yeah, usually I run like two magic arrows and one overload, and that should be good, right? And of course, for items, we're not getting items right now. Uh, for items, you know, I, I usually run like three staffs, but usually you don't get three staffs, but three staffs or one Berserk Demon God. It is not good for my cop. So we're gonna go for staff because I don't have items. So I'm, I'm just gonna equip it. Okay, uh, this is floor four. So floor four tends to be kind of difficult. Uh, that's when the power spikes. So I'm actually, I'm just gonna, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, the, dif the difficulty uh, spikes at floor four. So the first four bosses, uh, if you see the first four bosses that we've been going through, uh, that, that order is always random. Uh, but the bosses are the same just the order is random right and then after that all the boxes are uh fixed uh so this is the blacksmith one he is a pain in the butt but i think i think we should be able to kill him i think with magic arrow we should be able to kill him we we just lack items that's the only thing we lack we should be fine though we should be fine it's looking like it's looking like we're gonna win due to overtime. That that is that is what it feels like right now. Yeah. Okay. As long as we as long as we win by overtime, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay, we got it. Yeah, blacksmith. If you get blacksmith floor four, it it is actually really hard. Actually, really hard. Yeah, this one, uh, Blacksmith, uh, Floor 4, or the, the giant guy. The guy who, like, does the same damage, the, the big tower guy, you know? The two-headed guy. Those two are, like, the worst, in my opinion. Blacksmith is probably the worst out of all of them, for sure. But it doesn't matter, because Shilda, Block, with Magic Arrow, OP. I mean, I'm going to win this. I'm going to win this. Yeah, I'm winning it. I'm winning it, boys. Easy. Easy. Okay. 
Okay, so floor five. We're getting to floor five. So yeah, we get some awards. We're gonna take the staff. Yeah, we're gonna take the staff. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so this one's a tier two. All right. Uh, oh, the shop is right next to us. <laughs> Let's check it out. Uh, Lunaire is actually not a bad... You know, uh, don't be afraid to pick up heroes with this comp. Because uh, the more heroes that you have, the more... Uh, another magic arrow? Okay, I have to sell some stuff, bro. We're going to have to... We're going to have... Wait, wait, let's do some rooms. Let's do some... Oh, man. Okay, I'm just going to... I'm going to do this. Okay, 30% MP. Okay, boys. We are in... We are in business. We are in business. You can't stop this. Magic arrow shield up. Spread the gospel, you know? Okay, uh, so in, for this room, um, from my experience, uh, so you can either pray or seize ornament. So if you seize ornament, you can get a larger amount of gold, but it's a percentage. I don't know what the percentage is, but you can get like not the gold, but you can just get like a potion or something. So it's a risk. Uh, praying has a higher chance of going through and you get like, you know, a, a bit lower amount of money, but it's what my go-to is my go-to. Yeah, so I get 400 silver. Uh, I usually do pray. I usually don't do the other one because it's kind of risky. So, guaranteed is always the good option. This magic arrow, and plus um, this, uh, oh, magic arrow. Yo. Okay. We, okay. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, okay. So this, um, the, the crown, the CC crown is actually a little overkill. I'm not gonna lie. It's a bit overkill. I actually don't really need it, to be honest, because the mighty blocks actually, you know, help with that, but whatever. Um, there are, in there is a chance for me to die, and that is, uh, on the later floors, <laughs> when there's, like, a bunch of, like, laser guys and stuff, there is a chance. There is a chance. I'm gonna grab that. Um, so hopefully, magic arrow. Yo, Th three magic arrows. We're broken. You can't. You can't. We can't lose. It's a GG. It's a GG. You are witnessing. Whoa, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait, that's a tier three, right? That's a tier. Th We're going back. We're going back to the shop. So you can always go back to the shop. Always. Always go back to the shop with this button. Um, know that when you go to the when you go to the map and you're in the shop, uh, know that. Oh, I just went to another room. OK, let's kill this room real quick with our magic arrows first. OK, OK, what was I saying? Uh, silver. OK, so uh, you can always go back to the merchant room with this button, right? Know that when you like go around and like you, you like do this and you go back to the, you can't go back in. Right. And that's because you're already in the merchant. And I saw some people doing that and they're just like, where is the where is the merchant button? I can't it's bugged. I can't go back into the merchant room. Well, you're already in the merchant room, so you can't go back into it. Right. Um, but anyway, anyway, anyway. Oh, man, this is this run is hype. We're going to buy this. And guess what? We're going to use this tier 4. We're going to put it on our shell. A triple tier 4. <laughs> this is, you can't lose. You can't lose. All we're lacking are items. Honestly, I would run three god staffs. 100%. Three god staffs. Um, I might get Lunaire. Um, you know what? I'll buy Lunaire just, just to do it. Just to do it. I don't even, I'm not even reroll the shop. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put Lunaire over here. Oh man, this is this is insane. This is insane. Um, I'm actually gonna do this. Uh, this is the the wet stones is really good on Lunaire because I'm gonna be putting my excess staffs on her. So this will actually increase the base stats of the equipment by a certain amount, and then of course that uh, also amplifies the buff that it gives to Shielder, right? So, uh, yeah. Man, I am OP. I am OP. You can't stop this. Laser guys, it doesn't matter. Oh my goodness. This is straight broken. Broken. Magic. <laughs> uh, we're not getting that. We, we're getting overload. Overload's amazing too, so it increases the MP cost, but 
300% spell power. We're gonna get that. Uh, we're gonna put it on Lunar actually, cause you know she also insta casts at the beginning of round, so the MP cost doesn't matter, and a spell power on top of the buff, it's crazy. It's crazy. So we're gonna do that. That's great. We're gonna go for the boss. It doesn't even matter. So boss five is the the one that does like you know a bunch of pushback. Yeah, a bunch of pushback. I guess it's the first five bosses that is uh, the order is random. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, this boss is part of the, you know, part of the first five boss rotation. Easy. If you didn't have um, cr the CC crown, it's fine actually, because uh, Shilda will be generating the Mighty Blocks, and Mighty Blocks will block the CC, even though, right? So. Yeah, we're gonna grab the book. So we're gonna we're gonna get the idea. We're gonna get the books. We're gonna put it on Shelda, trying to get her level 32 as fast as possible, and then we're gonna focus on you know Lunar levels. It it's freaking broken. We're gonna get the books. We're gonna grab the books. You know, we're gonna go for our Shelda angle as we usually do. This is insane. You can't beat this. You can't beat the the Behemoth pick is amazing too. By the way. It will solve a lot of our mob floor problems, for sure. All right, we need items, so thankful. Magic arrow. I don't need any more, bro. I don't need any more. Uh, I do need items, so I would like staffs. Okay, staffs. Okay, so we have some staffs. Uh, we're going to do this. 30% MP. That is what I need. That is 100% what I need. Um, Yeah. So we're going to come back. We're going to get some money first. We, we got to get some money. We need money. This is OP. And then we have Gidnil, of course. We're going to do the Holy Expansion. Uh, this transfer his Spell Shield to other uh, teammates, right? So uh, the Spell Shield nullifies uh, some spell effects. So that's, it, it, like, it, we don't need it, to be honest, but it's, like, straight broken. You know, it's, it's definitely overkill. Definitely overkill. I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to grab the silver. Yeah. Yo, this is straight broken. This is straight broken. The only thing um, that can screw this comp up is uh, the Void Witches, which, yeah, kind of feels bad and it sucks. Um, what do I get? Staff? But that has percent. Oh, my, my bow already has 30%, right? So I'm going to go for the staff. Yeah, my bow has 30%. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you want percent mana okay so this is the conversion room so usually it's random like usually there's more options that you can pick but this room only has one is equipment so you can actually convert a an equipment to something it, it'll keep the item the same but it will convert like the effect right like like for example i can convert this it'll still be a tier three god staff uh, but the uh, the affix might be different that that's the key here so uh the fix uh the 10 percent over time thing is probably one of the weakest in the game so we're gonna do this uh the mp per attack really good really good we're gonna take that one um so yeah so those are the conversion rooms uh we're gonna go head over to over here sure it doesn't matter we're we're straight broken i don't see i don't see us losing yeah it, Berserk Demon God, who cares? We're gonna get some staffs because we want to put the staffs on Lunar. We need some staffs on Lunar. It's gonna make our magic arrows even more broken. Look at these. Oh my. The, the, oh, the arrows. The arrows. Uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna get this. I'm not gonna use it. Purely for conversion. You know, just in case conversion. Um... I'm gonna buy the. Oh wait. Oh yeah. I need a staff, don't I? Yeah. Staff. We're gonna buy the discounted staff. Uh, that affix kind of sucks. Um. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a better one. Do I? Do I re refresh? Okay. No. 
Nothing. Nothing. Uh, do I wait? Do I wait? Or do I like, you know... Hmm... Oh, I need, I need the bow, don't I? I'll buy the bow. I'll buy the bow. Okay. Okay, boys. We are in business. <laughs> we, <laughs> we cast twice every third... Oh, it is, is GG, bro. It is GG. It's, it's GG, bro. There's no way. There's no way. Uh, this boss, yeah, so, yeah, so floors one through five are the ones that are, uh, the order is random. And then, uh, floors six, seven, eight, nine, they're all fixed. Uh, so the, this boss always drops a greed item, and greed items are brand new to the game, not in any mode, but this one has the crazy effects, right? So this one, you can see plus four range and a plus one attack count. Um, not really good for my comp. So, yeah, not really useful. Uh, I don't even know who to give it to. I guess I'll give it to Git Nil. Git Nil, I guess. Yeah, conversion room. Okay, so we have another equipment converter, and then we can actually convert a relic. Um, I'm actually just going to keep the relic. I like my relics. Uh, but I will convert some equipment, though. So I want to convert... Hmm, I want to convert my bow, but it has 30% MP regen, so I'll convert this one. 60% I'll take this one. Okay, so I want to give this to to uh, to Shilda. I want to give it to Shilda. Uh, so we're gonna, I'll show you, uh, this is a good opportunity for me to show you how to like de-equip items and stuff, so we'll do that, we'll do that. Uh, so we're gonna, yo. So we're, we're heading to the, the chapter 9 mobs, you know? This is when it starts getting a little scary for a lot of comps. But not for mine. Not for mine, because, you know, magic arrows OP. Magic arrows OP, boys. It's OP. Okay. Uh, let's go to the shop. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. Do I have enough money? No, it's 150. Hold on. We'll do another room. We'll do another room. We'll do another room. See, usually comps are like getting decimated, but not this one. It, we're, we're straight OP, boys. We're straight OP. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this one. So this one will give us some item stuff. Uh, this one will give... Actually, you know what? I usually do the item one, but or the hammer, the hammer uh, anvil stuff. But great, awesome, amazing! I failed, I failed. Okay, man, Shilda, tier thirty. It's over. It's over. I don't see us losing, but never say never. Never say never. Never say never. You can't. You just. You can't beat it. You just can't beat it. Um. Oh yeah, we don't have a fourth relic. <laughs> we don't have a fourth relic. We're gonna skip TP. TP is probably one of the worst in this mode. It's, it's probably the worst. Uh, uh, yeah, it, I think it is the worst. Like if there was a tier less of relics in 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 Rift mode, TP scroll is probably the worst one. In my opinion. Uh, we well, can go ahead and do the boss. Okay. Now, if you notice the mini boss rooms, they are uh, correlated to the actual invasion chapter boss order. So the next one will be uh, the vampire one, right? Avoid the chapter 9 elite boss <laughs> room. Completely avoid that one. That is the floor 8 one. It, it is straight off. We're getting this, boys. We this is perfect. This is the most perfect route. Oh my! This is this is amazing. This we're OP. We're freaking OP. Uh, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do our uh, item switching. So we want to buy the equipment remover, right? So we're gonna buy this. Um, so what this does, you just drag it over to, so like, for example, we want to uh, move our items, right? But also for uh, 
upgrading items, you can't upgrade items when they're equipped. So you actually have to de-equip, upgrade it, and then put it back on the hero, right? So uh, we want to change some items on our Shelda. So we just grab, hover it over it, right? And then we can now just reorganize our stuff. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and give this to Shelda, you know? And then we wanted the 60%. We're running, we're going to run triple staffs. Oh, we need this, 100%. And we're running tri triple staffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Triple staffs. And then this, we can just give to like, I don't know. Uh, we should give it a sh good new. Good new? Yeah, good new for more, uh, for more, uh, whatchamacallit? For more uh, spell shield activations, right? And then for these, uh, I don't even know. Maybe we can sell it. You know, maybe we can sell it. Um, do we buy more peeps? I might buy rye. You know what? Why not? Why not? I'll buy rye. I'll buy rye. Uh, cause she can spawn some dolls, extra tanking, right? I like that. I'm gonna put this back a little bit, actually. Okay. Cause I don't want to die. I really don't want to die. There's a chance. There's always a chance for you to die. <laughs> uh okay so let's look at our altars real quick so i have hella excess <laughs> <laughs> um this one at tier four will give me 10 right so um this is kind of useless uh so 20 uh I, let's change the horn i don't want greed i guess i'll get blood right, we're gonna keep on you know what Blacksmith is probably the one we want. Blacksmith is probably the one we want. So, yeah, because Blacksmith Altar it increases your actual equipment base stats and stuff. So, actually really useful as a secondary relic. Okay. Boss floor. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So, this guy uh, will stun you. <laughs> this guy will 100% stun you. If you don't have the correct, like, just the appropriate hero, the appropriate setup, he will demolish your team 100%. 100% demolish your team, but not in our case. We are OP. Look at it. It doesn't even matter. You can't stun me, boys. You can't stun me. Yeah. So what happens is that once you do a certain amount of damage to him, uh, he'll split, and when he splits, he'll actually stun you. But he can't stun me because I have Mighty Blocks and I also have CC Crown. And then he'll split, and then you have to kill the split, uh, the split clones, and then you actually hit him, right? So that's what this boss does. And it, it doesn't even matter. Look at it. Triple magic arrow. Look look at this. Look at this. It's broken. I'm almost level. I'm almost tier 32. It's, it's straight broken. It's it's OP. It's it's freaking OP. It, yeah. Yeah. The only way we lose is regular mob runes. Like, not even joking. We're going to get the polishing rune just in case. Oh, man. Oh man, um, that's uh, we we have to get the staff. We have to get the staff for Lunar, right? Yeah. Okay. So we are on floor eight. So we are gonna be avoiding. <laughs> we're gonna be avoiding this one at all costs. We're avoiding this one at all costs. It uh, chapter nine boss is freaking awful. It is like the hardest one. It is the hardest one, especially for our comp. Our comp is awful. Straight awful. Man, Magic Arrow is OP, boys. Magic Arrow is OP. So the only way we lose is pretty much uh, Void Witch, right? Uh, and how much money do I have? Uh, I'm actually going to get the HP recovery. <laughs> actually going to get the HP recovery. Uh, do we get... There's not going to be many other chances to get a Forge Stone, so I'm going to do this and reroll this. We want Blacksmith. Okay, we got Blacksmith. Okay, nice. So we just hold this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is more than enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to hold this. Uh, this is useless now, right? We're, gonna, we're not going to be rerolling anymore. Um, okay. So technically, okay, so technically, uh, in the floor uh, eight and nine, you typically just want to go straight to the boss. <laughs> you typically want to go straight to the boss because the regular mob uh, rooms are actually a lot. You know what? I'm actually just going to grab this ju just to max this out. 
you know, just to do it. Can you do this? Um, I kind of want to, I need, I need to do this, but you know what? I'll just, I'll just, uh, do I, do I do this? Um, dang, I want, I want to give my Shelda the attack speed from this rune, but I mean, I could de-equip it. I could de-equip it. You know what? Here, let's go to the conversion room first. Okay, relic conversion. Um, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to touch it. I really don't want to touch anything. Um, I will convert one of these. So let's convert like this thing. Overload, amazing. Okay, give that to Lunar. Okay, so let's let's go to the shop first. Okay, let's just let's just go to the shop, man. Let's just go to the shop. I'll just give this. You know what? Let's do this. Okay. Okay. I might die. Let's see. If we're dying, if we're dying, boy, we have to use gems. We're using gems. We're using gems. Okay. We use gems. I did it. <laughs> I did it. We can't lose. Okay. This is this is this is happening. This is freaking happening. Um, I actually need to take, ah, oh, crap. I need to take the crown off. I need to take the crown off. This sucks. So I need, okay. So we have to enter this room, okay? This room, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Who cares about this? You know? Who cares about the attack speed? Screw it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. We use gems. Don't worry about it. That was a mistake. Do I need money? No, I don't. I'm gonna grab the HP recovery. Um. Tier two. Yeah. I'm grabbing this. Give it a lunar. We're going to the shop. We have to think about this. I can't lose. There's no way. I can't lose. Okay. Um, I was going to do something. I don't remember what I was going to do. I don't remember. I'll just do this. What do I need? I need a staff. Can I sell anything? I can sell my this thing. That'll give me two. I don't need any root. So... The staff is more important to me, so I'm gonna grab the staff. Okay, okay. Nice, okay. So we're gonna, okay, I might, we're gonna decline this, okay? I don't need the reward, it is actually useless. We're ju we just want to survive, okay? We want to simply survive. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm actually like straight worried. I'm straight. We have to like. Okay, I'm grabbing the armor. Okay, I'm giving a good nail. Grabbing the armor. Good nail has plus four range. <laughs> Look at his range. <laughs> uh, okay, one more room. One more room. Okay. 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 Okay, HP recovery. All right, we're, we're gonna go straight to the, I'm not even doing the event, screw it. All right, so for this uh, boss, it's actually three bosses. <laughs> it's actually three bosses and pretty much like when one dies, then it'll buff the others, but typically it doesn't matter. And this is a neat trick, by the way, you see these three TP things, it's actually for your hero. So the heroes that you put on them, it'll TP to the other side. So it's recommended. You can kind of see the TP spots over there. So if you have melee heroes, it's actually really recommended to put them on the uh, the TP spot. So we're, uh, we're actually going to be doing this, something like this. Yeah, something like this. Uh, well, here, right, I can go. 
Uh, we're gonna do something like this. So um, this is really, it doesn't really matter for my comp because I'm doing magic arrow, but if you have like a Mel or something, it'll TP you directly behind this boss. This is the main one that you want to kill first. Uh, if you don't put them on the TP spot, then uh, your heroes can sometimes like aggro these and then these teleport around and it'll just delay the fight a lot, right? So if you TP, It'll kill this one fast, and then it'll be much smoother, much smoother. So, yeah. Highly recommend you doing that. Highly recommend you doing that. My comp's freaking broken, though, so... It's gonna, it's gonna kill him very fast. Okay. Okay. I say very fast. I say very fast. Okay. Okay. Woo! All right. Um, I might get mana shield. I'll get mana shield. Uh, I will get the sword. I'll get the sword, I guess. For the affix. Strictly for the affix. Okay, so I'm gonna give this to Lunaire, actually to give her some tankiness because then when she uses her skill she'll get protection based on her spell power which is a crap ton uh we're gonna give this to rye i guess to you know survive uh okay so floor nine we're on floor nine wait let's re let's reposition so we're gonna, we're gonna stick with this i like this okay we're gonna stick with this who cares about it well i guess might as well just yeah do this okay floor okay <laughs> the shop is useless well let's see is it useless it's pretty much useless. The only thing I can think of is just buying another unit to tank. So maybe we'll go back. All right, the boss is here. So that means we have to go through. So floor nine, I highly recommend you. It doesn't matter what comp. I highly recommend you going straight to the boss. <laughs> you know, straight to the boss. Luckily, we lucked out only two rooms. It Sometimes you have to go through like four rooms to get to the boss. So we, we kind of lucked out. Um, so yeah, uh, there is a chance for us dying and it's because of this thing, this thing. So it can burn all of our shield of mana and yeah, it's, it's a bad time. It's a bad time. So yeah, let's just try. Oh, actually this, the get deal is actually not, oh, well, whatever, whatever. Doesn't even, oh, the get deal is giving my, uh, my shield a spell shield. Interesting. Okay. Okay, I don't have execute, do I? No. No. Okay, we're gonna grab the health. Oh, we don't. We are not concerned with money. Okay, so this one, um, we are gonna ignore. We don't need it. <laughs> we don't need it. Great, awesome. Wait, okay, I think I think we see the light, boys. I think I think we see the light. You see the light. Okay. Okay, I think we did it, boys. I think we did it. Okay. Okay. I think we did it. First run. We did have to use... Okay, no, hold on. I can't I can't speak so soon. This is the last boss. This is uh, the destroyer move. Oh, man. Here it goes. Man, we're actually doing this? We are actually doing this. First run. Magic arrow shield. Uh, OP. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, we don't need to adjust any position. We just keep this. It's fine. Okay, let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's just freaking do it. it. This should be easy. Look at the damage. Oh my. The damage. It, this is OP, bro. The the power of Magic Arrow Mage Shield. Uh, oh man, I love it. I love it. It's so easy. It's so easy. Yo, this is broken. It is straight broken. It is straight broken, boys. There it is. Victory. First run win. 21,000. Doesn't even matter. We're not climbing for ranks. Let, let's just check it out. Let's check it out. Let's let's check out the leaderboard. No, let's check it out. 21,000. I'm definitely not on here. I'm definitely not on here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like, you know, 30,000, you know. But anyway, there it is. Hero Hunter, the beginning episode of the Great Rift arc for the series. Cleared it with Mage. Yeah, Shilda, Mage Air, a Magic Arrow 
freaking broken. I recommend you guys trying it out, doing exactly what I just did, uh, but a little smarter on that in the middle of there, you know, and I had to use gems. Uh, be careful your positioning, for sure, 100%. But I highly recommend it. Magic arrow shield up, mage altar. Do it before it kind of gets nerfed because this is, it, it's freaking broken in my opinion. Um, yeah, you can actually go alter a mage. So what I usually do sometimes is that you can actually go shield up get mage right don't get the uh, altar relic mage just get mage altar you can still get magic arrow runes give it to shelda and then you can uh respec into whatever altar that you want to clear it with so like for example you start with like a mage item get magic arrow put it on shelda and then later on you can get the altar of greed for example and then complete the run with greed altar but your Shelda has magic arrows, right? <laughs> so it's like a fake <laughs> Shelda magic arrow mage uh, greed run, right? Uh, I did that before. It's amazing. It's amazing. You can do that for any of the altars. Uh, but anyways, we did it with altar and mage. We can cross that off our list. We have five more to go. Yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. If you want more of these, I'm definitely going to be making more and continuing this series. But yeah, I'm going to end this one here. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.